So in this episode of the A to Z of Bushcraft, we're looking at reviews. So we'll be reviewing some of the items of equipment that people have sent to us to have a look at. Now, the first one is the Sierra stove, which I think is a fantastic concept, brilliant idea. This will burn any kind of small twigs. You can burn newspaper, you can burn cardboard, you can burn um, dried animal dung. You can burn pretty much everything in the stove. If it's combustible, it will burn in here. Now, any kind of combustible material that will burn easily can go into here. I'm just going to start a small fire in there. Now, it would be nice to have some means of lighting this without having to burn it from above because that's, uh, that's never an easy thing to do. So I've got that burning now. I'm not going to put the fan on just yet. I'm just going to get this. So it would definitely be useful to have some way of lighting it from underneath. Now that's going quite well so I'm going to slowly start adding a few twigs and I'm going to put it on the lowest fan. Now this is burning really well now I'm going to put it up to the next stage to get a bit more heat out. And it really does, it burns like a Bunsen burner. Yeah, that's interesting. Now the stand isn't as stable as I would like. That's uh, it's digging into there to be fair. So that's not ideal, the fact that it, it doesn't balance particularly well. So maybe some sort of folding legs that would give it a bit more stability would be a good idea. It's really not very stable. I want to move it, but I, it's going to be hot now, isn't it? Let's try it down here somewhere. So in summary, I really have to say I'm a little bit disappointed. Now, I have used a stove, the older model of this stove, and it was a lot, a lot better, I have to say. It was more stable. The attachment fitting, which connected the top to the bottom, was more secure. It was a twist fit, and that seemed to be a much more secure option than this sort of squeeze and kind of slot in, which is a little bit, I don't know, just doesn't really do it for me. And the whole thing has that kind of uh, made made in the sort of in someone's shed kind of feel about it, which is part of the thing I liked about it. And the concept is fantastic. I really do think that a lightweight stove that burns any fuel and has a little fan in it is a great idea. Don't get me wrong, but the build quality. And this lack of stability is just a real design flaw in my opinion. And I think they need to really go back to the drawing board and see if they can produce something that will use the concept and really exploit the, the excellent concept of this stove. And it's so simple, it just forces air in and that's all it requires. But there's just little things about this that really let it down and that is the main one. It's just this lack of stability. And the fact that everything's just sort of really flimsy looking. There's no real strength to it. I mean, this could all be a single homogenous unit that would that would really be robust and you could you could have confidence that you could take it anywhere and it would work. But with all these flimsy bits of wire and everything's exposed, you just kind of look at it and it just looks like a disaster waiting to happen. So I'm going to give this, I mean, if, if we were to do this marks out of 10, I would give it 9 out of 10 for innovation and for the concept and build quality is going to be like 4 out of 10, so it's not really, I'm really quite disappointed. But, uh, you know, I think they've got the, the makings of a great product here. It just needs a little bit of work to get it absolutely top-notch. Where the wind blows, where the river meets the sea, I'll be waiting for the day when you come back to me. I'll be waiting.